Hello and welcome. Thank you for joining us. We're going to give it just a few moments before we begin to give other students time to join. Thank you for logging in for this session. see a few more participants joining. Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. We'll get started pretty pretty soon. Okay, great. Hi everyone. Good afternoon. My name is Vanessa Ortiz and I'm going to be your facilitator for this session. Welcome to the College to Career um, College to Career Fairs. This is a virtual college fair. Um, and I'm just going to go over some housekeeping um, information before we begin. We have an excellent lineup of different programs um, and schools here to tell you more about opportunities, specifically in the field of hospitality, transportation, and trade. So this is um, a really cool opportunity to learn more about each of those things. Your camera and video are off, you're muted and your video is off, the panelists can't see or hear you. So you may be wondering, well, how do I ask questions if I want to learn more? Well, we definitely want to hear your questions. Please use the Q&A button to type your questions to the presenters at any time. So there's not a designated Q&A portion. You can send them a question at any point during this session. Um, we also encourage you to sign up for more sessions. Check the schedule on the website to see what's available. This session, along with all the other sessions related to this College to Career Fairs, um, are being recorded and they'll be available at collegetocareer.org. So again, we are in the hospitality, the culinary and hospitality and transportation and trades session. Um, and to kick us off, we're going to start with EHL. All right, thank you, Vanessa. Uh, hello, everyone. Thank you for being here today. My name is Ralph DeBier. I'm a recruitment officer with EHL. I'm based here in Orlando, Florida, so I'm very close to you in case you need uh, more information. I'll be happy to share that. So I'm just sharing my screen here to start my presentation. Um, so to get started, uh, EHL is a university located in Lausanne, Switzerland. We're about 40 minutes from Geneva by train. Uh, this is uh, our where our main campus is. Uh, we also have other two campuses, one in Singapore and one in uh, Pasug, which is uh, the east coast of uh, uh, Switzerland. Uh, a little bit about our history. So we have a, a wrong, uh, strong heritage in hospitality business. We've been around since uh, 1893. Uh, so we have over 126 years of experience in uh, uh, history teaching our students hospitality. Why should you choose EHL? So that's an uh, easy question. Uh, strong heritage, uh, like I said, 126 years doing this. Uh, we have a lot of uh, group resources. So from entrepreneurship all the way to uh, internships, job experience and all that you're gonna find at EHL. We have a lifelong learning experience uh, uh, through our uh, community. So we are very international, very global. We have over 30,000 alumni spread out in the world and you'll be able to reach out to these uh, alumnus uh, before during and after your graduation, they're uh, a very close uh, community, okay? Uh, our three campuses, so basically Lausanne is our main campus. That's where you're going to find the Bachelor in International Hospitality Management, a program that stretches over four years. If you choose to do that same program, you can do it in Singapore as well. Uh, the only difference is that you would be in Singapore, but the program is exactly the same, and you'll have even a more international experience uh, due to the fact that you're always going to start your uh, first year in Lausanne. Lausanne, and then we would be flying over to Singapore to finish the three remaining years. Uh, now a little bit about Singapore, it's a gate gateway to Asia, global business hub, so very much uh, a lot of opportunities for you to network during your four-year degree and also uh, find jobs more related to business and hospitality, so a very interesting option for you. 
a little bit about our program, uh, the way it works. So we stretch over four years. The first year being a preparatory year, we call the applied learning uh, uh, period. Basically, you will be learning everything from the bottom up uh, into the hospitality side, operational side. Uh, so there's a lot of workshops, uh, culinary arts, uh, serving, everything you need to know about restaurant management. So all these kind of fun stuff you're going to see during that first semester. And then you would have to go to your first internship. Uh, and we offer two internships, which is mandatory, and you will total up one year professional experience on your resume. Not many other universities offer that opportunity for you. I like to share this uh, slide here because it has uh, some good numbers. 47% uh, of our students, they tend to stay in the hospitality industry. So you're gonna be working with leisure, a restaurant, or even airlines or hotels. But 53% of our students, they uh, might change their mind during the course of the program and they might go to other industries like retail, luxury, bank, banking, consulting, real estate, healthcare. So there's a lot of options uh, for you out there. We also offer two job fairs every year on campus with over 160 companies present. Uh, we also have a job platform where you can look up these companies, uh, research recruiters, and uh, even apply for jobs before you even graduate. Uh, these are some of the examples. So we range from Nestle and uh, uh, um, uh, L'Oreal, uh, Rolex, uh, all the way to Swiss Airways and all the major uh, hotel brands they are with. Uh, Swiss Airways, my best example, I always like to share that because the CEO and president, he is our alumnus and he comes every single year to recruit our students uh, on campus. Uh, and the reason I like to share this is because he always uh, mentions that not just the hard skills of business is important, but also the soft skills of hospitality. And that's what he looks for when he's hiring employees for Swiss Airways. Now our admissions process is fairly simple. We are very holistic as many other universities in uh, Europe. So it's not just about your academics, uh, not just about uh, having the grades like here in the United States, but uh, also about your extracurricular activity and things that you did uh, during your school years. So we look for academic potential, talent, leadership, teamwork, motivation, international outlook, interpersonal skills, and uh, just uh, last but not least, uh, we require that you uh, turn 18 before you start your program because you will have wine tasting classes during your first year. You will uh, be, uh, um, uh, you will have access to alcohol on campus. For that reason, we request you to be 18. Now the application process is very simple. It's a three-step process. It takes about a month and a half, starting with your application online. You can go through our website, which makes it a little bit faster, but you can also opt to use the Common App. So if you're planning to apply for other universities, uh, feel free to use the Common App and you will find us over there. Uh, for those students that are just coming in and just researching uh, now, starting their sophomores and juniors, we offer a summer program every single year. We also have, due to COVID, the new uh, online version of this program. I'll be happy to share more information later on. I'll share a QR code with my uh, contact information so you can scan and reach out to me if you want more, know more about. This is our academic requirements. I'm also going to go very, very quick over uh, the requirements. If you scan this QR code, it's going to take you to the website and you're going to have all the information you need. But basically, we request a 3.0 GPA unweighted, SAT1 with a minimum of 500 on each section, or an ACT with a minimum of 24. And uh, on top of that, you are requested to have uh, an APA class, IBHL, or honors classes. Three of those, it could be combined. So it could be two APs, one honors, or two honors, one AP, one IB. It's up to you to uh, decide what you want to do. If you're an American citizen, you don't have to worry about language requirements. Otherwise, if you're an international student uh, and in the United States for less than two years, uh, you would be required to do that. Some of our deadlines, you can scan here really quick uh, to get into our deadlines. Um, we do have, uh, we are FOSF approved and we also offer a, a tuition waiver award for the first year. And then just last but not least, uh, we were running out of time here. If you scan here, you will have all my contact information and I'll be happy to share more information about EHL and our hospitality management program. Thank you so much. Wonderful, thank you so much, EHL. Next up, we have University of Nevada, Las Vegas. Okay. I'm hope, hopefully you can see my screen. <laughs> the, the we correct. see it, we see it. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Alex Liebman with UNLV. So we are the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. 
located here in the exciting entertainment capital of the world, Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, as you can see, our school is super close to the Las Vegas Strip. So there's literally you know, no better place to study hospitality than here in Las Vegas. Um, a little bit about UNLV. Um, it, we are a large urban research institution, um, and we have over 300 undergraduate programs and majors. But today I'm here to talk to you about um, the Hera College of Hospitality. Uh, I work for the college, I'm the recruitment director. Um, I always like to start my presentations by talking about what hospitality is, uh, you know, at the core of, of everything that's related to hospitality. It's all about creating experiences for people. So I always like to uh, share that with, with folks I'm talking to, because if that resonates with you in some way, um, then a a degree program in hospitality management is a really good decision for you. Um, a, a little bit about, um, you know, why study hospitality. It is definitely a growing industry. You are able to learn skills that you can not only use within the industry, but that can transfer to other industries as well when you graduate. And you can really take your career anywhere in the world. Uh, no matter where you go, there is a place for hospitality. Um, so our students are, are come to our, our program because they're interested in pursuing careers in hotels and resorts, events and entertainment, food and beverage. We have a lot of students that come from culinary backgrounds that come to UNLV to continue their studies. Gaming, and when I say gaming, I'm talking about casinos and gambling conventions and, and more. Uh, the industry is quite vast and there's a lot of different segments within hospitality and then a lot of opportunities even outside hospitality. UNLV is a great choice for hospitality management for a number of reasons. I like to talk about these three in particular. We are a ranked, an internationally ranked program. Um, the QS rankings um, have us at the, the top of that list, sometimes number one, sometimes number two, uh, which still makes us the number one program in, in the US for hospitality management. Uh, we are also very affordable when you're comparing programs, and, uh, you know, comparable programs in hospitality management, we are usually um, one of the most affordable programs on that list. And then additionally, our location, we really can't be our location, um, but it's not enough just to be here. We have built over um, 50 plus years, we have built relationships with not only hospitality brands in Las Vegas, but outside of Las Vegas and internationally. Um, but you have access in Las Vegas to really the best mentors, internships and job experience right here in Las Vegas. A little bit about our program, we are a Bachelor of Science in Hospitality Management. So as you're exploring different programs, our program is a traditional bachelor's program. So you will have to take some general education uh, courses. Also, we have a hospitality core. Um, so all of our hospitality students have to take these uh, credits, but also we have a lot of flexibility in our program as well. So you have to take some hospitality electives, but you also have the ability to take open electives and even pick up a minor. Um, our program is designed for flexibility for our students, but we also, it makes us a little different from a traditional bachelor's program is we do have some experiential learning requirements that are asked of our students as well. Um, I just like to share a little bit, you know, our program um, is a hospitality management. So it is a focus on hospitality operations and, and we want our students to pursue management careers upon graduation. So you have to learn um, really all of those business fundamentals, but what's great is that our program teaches those fundamentals with the hospitality industry in mind. We are a standalone college um, here at UNLV. You also have the ability to pick a concentration in our program. If that's something you want to do, it's optional. Um, so many of our students will choose a concentration so you can really follow your passion in hospitality in our program, whether that's in event management, gaming, uh, we have a new uh, concentration in human resources management. Also, there's a restaurant and a beverage concentration. And also we have a specialty program in professional golf management as well. One of the things that I think really is a great benefit of our program is that you walk out of this program with a resume that's going to be competitive in the hospitality industry. So we do require our students to work, meaning that you have to log at least a thousand um, hours in the hospitality industry before graduation. But our career center will help you access those great part-time, full-time um, volunteer opportunities throughout your time here at UNLV. We also have internship requirements as well as capstone courses where you learn where senior level students work on real life projects 
um, taking everything that they've learned and really uh, learning hands-on inside the classroom and working with real life clients and industry partners. We also have a lot of uh, great support systems for our students, one of which is our own career center just for hospitality students. They bring in um, over a hundred different companies on an annual basis to recruit our students. We have some great contacts for you when you get here. Uh, it's not difficult to find a connection um, as a student here um, in our program. I wanted to share just a couple uh, recent internship opportunities our students were a part of. Uh, the newest property on the Las Vegas Strip is Resorts World. It's a multi-property um, mega resort. And what's super cool is that we had 23 students uh, who actually got to intern and be a part of the grand opening for this mega resort over the summer. So we're super proud of all of them. They had an amazing experience um, in their internships. Uh, one of my other students that works with me worked for MGM Resorts International as a hotel operations intern this summer, and she shared her experience as well. Um, so there's really so many great internship opportunities that are available to you. So just a little bit about our admission requirements. Um, our requirements for our program and hospitality are the same as UNLV. So you have to apply to U the, the general UNLV application. We also take Common App as well. Um, our requirements um, are 3.0 uh, weighted core GPA or 1120 SAT or 22 ACT. So it's, it's an or. Um, ACT and SAT are not required, um, but uh, it's definitely encouraged to do so. So you can be considered for scholarships as well. I wanted to, um, the deadline is, uh, our priority deadline is November 15th. So if you want to um, have the best opportunity for scholarships, definitely November 15th. Um, but our application will close May 1 for fall 2022. Um, I wanted to just mention, I know I have some California people in the room. Uh, we do have some amazing scholarship opportunities, which really makes your tuition affordable. And finally, I just wanted to make sure you knew about our virtual tour. You can uh, contact me at hospitalityadmissions at unlv.edu. And thank you so much. Great. Thank you, UNLV. Next up, we have Swiss Education Group. Hi, I'm Jasmine. I'm the California counselor at the Swiss Education Group. Let me share my screen with you. Um, so that you can see my presentation, but we are in a network of four of the leading hospitality business and culinary art schools in Switzerland. And so you're going to see some overlap um, with EHL. Um, what's unique is that this is actually one of our campuses. It's called the Co Palace because 100 years ago, this is where kings, queens, people like the Rockefellers and F. Scott Fitzgerald stayed in Switzerland when they vacationed there. And now this is one of our schools. Um, and this is where you could study and where you would live. So Switzerland, for those who haven't been, it's a super small country in the heart of Western Europe. Um, when I say that it's tiny, I mean that in about the time it might take for you to drive from San Diego to LA, you would have crossed the entire country. Ton of opportunities to travel once you're over there. Um, we have about 18 countries within just a two hour flight. So hopping over to another country is like going to another state here in the US. Um, and so Switzerland itself is known for being super beautiful, very safe, um, very stable politically, socially, economically. It's also known as the birthplace of hospitality, which is why you might be interested in studying there. Um, many of the first modern hotels were built in Switzerland and the Swiss really codified sort of the systems of hospitality that are still in use to this day. They really pioneered hospitality education. And so because of that rich heritage, um, the Swiss are still known worldwide for their hospitality education. Um, about our schools ourselves, um, we are a group of four schools, like I mentioned, each with a different area of specialization within the hospitality field. So a little bit different than many American schools in that we don't have tons of majors to choose from. Um, we are more specialized, but that means that all of our resources are focused on helping you succeed within hospitality or culinary or business. And all of the students come to us with that same passion for hospitality management. Um, our programs are a little bit different from American programs as well in that it takes you only three years to graduate with your bachelor's degree. And so not four years, not five. In the first two years, you study for the first half of the year. In the second half of the year, we send you out to do a paid internship and to put everything into practice in the real world. So these are just um, some of the places our students have interned in past years. These internships are mandatory. 
Um, so all students do both internships. They're international, so you can stay in Switzerland or come back to the States, of course, but many students choose um, to go abroad. Um, and so you have career coaches that will work with you from your very first, you know, really month or two with us to kind of pinpoint what your interests and goals are and try to match you with those opportunities that best align with your interests. Obviously, many students do choose to intern at four or five star hotels, although we also get students um, interning in diverse fields ranging from nonprofits to Swiss banks to luxury watchmakers um, to places like the UN. So after your two internships, you would return to us for your final year of study, at the end of which would graduate with a dual degree. You would receive a Swiss degree from us, as well as um, an American or UK degree, depending on your program of study. And so you would graduate a year ahead of most of your peers. You would have a year of work experience, likely in two different countries. Um, so it is a very different experience. Um, it is intensive. It's more specialized, but it is also really hands-on and very international. Um, and very briefly, for any students who may be interested in culinary arts, um, what is unique about our program is that you are able to get a bachelor's degree, um, like with the hospitality programs in three years, we offer two pathways, one in culinary and one in chocolate and pastry arts. And for students who may be looking for a shorter term program, you would receive um, a certificate in as short as three months, you'd receive the grand diploma in one year a higher diploma in two. So it is a very flexible program um, for students who may, for example, be able to find a job after their first internship um, would have the opportunity to continue working and then come back anytime to complete your degree. In terms of life in the classroom, classes are all in English, so you don't have to worry if you don't speak French or German, which are the languages most widely spoken in Switzerland. Very small classes, usually 15 to 25 students a class, so you're not gonna get lost in a big lecture hall. And we do partner with a variety of industry leaders. Some of them are listed here. And so our students, they are throwing banquets for diplomats. Um, our students recently, they um, came up with a new fondue set for Kempinski Hotels. Um, they learn how to um, you know, make scentscapes to uh, learn how scent impacts guest experience. So it is a really dynamic educational experience. You're not just sitting in a classroom. And that's partially why all our campuses are based in former hotels. So you have these facilities to put into practice everything that you're learning about. All our schools are quite small. So it really is a family atmosphere. You really get to know everyone. And we are super diverse. Most of our students aren't Swiss and they're not American. So you really get to make friends from all around the globe. I think um, career opportunities is a major reason a lot of students do choose to come to us. And for us, it is about more than just job placement. We really want to help students build and hopefully fast track their careers. Um, so we're quite proud of the fact that 89% of our grads um, either hold management positions or have started their own company just five years after graduation. And I think it is because they do graduate with a profile that really stands out for most of their peers from the fact that they were able um, to do two international internships as undergraduate students. Um, and so very briefly for admissions, um, rolling admissions, although I always recommend students apply when they're applying for their American colleges, just because of the visa application, we are test optional, and this was the case pre-COVID. Um, holistic admissions, so we do look at not just marks and grades, but we do look at uh, the student as a whole. Um, we also offer summer programs for any younger students. And again, I will leave my uh, contact information in the chat. But I am the California counselor. I'm based in Southern California. So please feel free to reach out with any questions. Thanks so much for listening. Wonderful. Thank you so much. And last but not least, we have University of Alaska Anchorage. All right. Hello, y'all. My name is Fernando. I'm the Assistant Director for Student Recruitment at the University of Alaska Anchorage, or UAA, uh, located up in Anchorage, Alaska. And I'll be presenting a little bit over both culinary arts, but then also some of those transportation and trades as well, um, just to kind of showcase all those different things. First, though, a little bit about our campus and then also our community. Uh, so the Anchorage population, we have about 300,000 uh, people in Anchorage. It's the largest city in the state of Alaska. So it's an interesting mix of kind of, you know, urban landscape, but then also uh, somewhat 
wilderness. We, we like to call it urban wild because we do have, uh, you know, the wilderness very close by. We have over 100 miles of trails, more national parks than any other state. And obviously you can see the mountains right there. And even if I go back to the first picture, there's our campus and there's the mountains. Um, so it is quite a scenic uh, area for sure. Uh, we have nearly 11,000 students on campus. So we're kind of a medium-sized institution, over 100 different clubs. Uh, we recently ranked, ranked number one on return on long-term investment among our peer institutions. So other institutions like us. Um, so our students are going back and saying, hey, it was worth it uh, you know, going to UAA. I'm getting a really great return on my investment for that's tuition dollars. Uh, also, very small class sizes. We have about a 15 to one student faculty ratio. So uh, again, you're gonna really experience those small classes throughout all of our programs. Uh, we're also an open access university. That means really there's no SAT or ACT required as a part of our admissions programs. Um, though certainly if you do happen to take them and you send them in, they could help in terms of course placement. So still, I do still recommend taking them, but again, we don't use them in our admissions uh, programs. Um, we also have really great study and adventure away programs to study abroad, North to North Exchange, which actually takes you uh, to other kind of northern institutions across the world. So places like Iceland, Norway, Finland, Russia, uh, who our students are. Um, going and kind of exchanging for a semester or a full year, as well as National Student Exchange, which can take you to another United States institution as well. A little bit about coloring arts at UAA. Um, so some program highlights. So students actually run a fine dining restaurant called Lucy's on campus. Um, so all of our students complete an internship right there and there. Though certainly some students do go off campus to some of our other um, dining locations throughout Anchorage or throughout Alaska. We also have a really great established study abroad program where our culinary arts students actually attend color, a culinary institute in Florence, Italy. Um, so you do get kind of that international outlook on it as well. Uh, there are a couple of different options. So we do have both the Associate of Applied Science and Culinary Arts or also the Bachelor of Arts in Hospitality and Restaurant Management. So we have either a two-year or four-year program. Uh, though we do offer many certificates as well, if you're just looking for more of a one-year program, so you don't have to be one and done uh, sort of thing. A little bit about our community and technical college programs. So these are going to be, again, more of those trades, transportation sorts of things. Uh, so we do have welding and non-destructive testing. Um, so our students get a lot of really great experiences. And Alaska, is a, it has a super high demand uh, for those welders or those who are doing those kinds of non-destructive testing um, applications. Um, Air traffic control, also a super in demand field. Um, I mean, there's, you have to go through a whole host of different kind of certification process through the FAA, and we actually are certified to get you prepared for those tests. Um, and those salaries begin over $100,000 a year. So it's a really wonderful program. We have a full simulation uh, set up uh, where you can actually, you know, direct planes, uh, do all those sorts of fun things. Uh, applied Leadership Technology is another one of our programs, uh, automotive technology as well, if you're interested in uh, whether designing or working on cars, uh, you do have those programs as well. Um, aviation, professional piloting, we do train pilots. Um, so if you are interested in becoming a professional pilot, uh, you know, whether it be, you know, cargo or transport or even, you know, actual commercial, uh, we do have those opportunities as well. And we do have both simulators and actual planes where you actually get to fly and get those flight hours in. Um, Computer network technology as well as another one of those that are getting our students really well prepared for um, you know our more digitized world nowadays. Uh, diesel power again if you're again working on those and en uh, diesel engines so again more on the trade side or occupational safety and health as well. A little bit about residence life as well. Um, we do we don't require all of our students to live on campus. You certainly can live off campus if you'd like to, but we do offer on campus housing for all of our students if they choose to. Um, so we do have suite style residence halls as well as apartment style living um, for if you're a second year or above. It's all the same cost regardless of whether you are. Uh, and all of our students actually have kind of their own private bedroom, which I really like. Um, you do still have a shared living space with so a shared kind of common area, like a living room uh, with your suite mate. Um, so you are sharing that. Uh, and also you are sharing your bathroom with your suite mate. So uh, it's not all fully private, but you're at least not sharing it with like a whole hall or a whole floor or anything like that. Um, it's very close to campus and to our classes. It's only about a five, six minute walk to really get onto campus. Um, so it's really close by. Uh, and again, one flat cost for all. Uh, just to kind of show you a little piece of the cost, estimated cost of attendance for UAA. So on the right, all students, I understand many of you are from California, all of you would actually qualify for our Rui tuition. There's no separate 
application or GPA or testing requirement for. Again, we are an open access institution. Um, so tuition comes at just under $10,000 a year. Um, again, there are estimates for books and supplies and then room and board. Um, but we end up coming to be very affordable and especially very competitive with many institutions, even in state down in California. Um, we are also a free application can be found on our website. Um, it's pretty quick, just takes about 15 minutes and we're able to kind of get your admission decision within about a couple of weeks as well. So we try to have a pretty quick turnaround on that. And also if there are any questions, I mean, certainly feel free to use the uh, chat feature, I'd use the Q and A function on here and I'll be here to help. Um, so again, I'll pass it back on to our facilitator. Wonderful. Thank you so much. I'd love to um, invite all of the all of the programs to rejoin us back on camera. And I just want to um, pose a couple of questions and give each of you a chance to respond. Um, so my first question to everyone would be, What's one thing you want students to remember about your school or your program? Um, if you had one one key takeaway that you want them to remember um, about you, what would that be? And when you're ready, we'll start with you, EHL. All right, thank you, Vanessa. So, uh, well, one thing that I would like uh, students to remember always that uh, EHL has all the uh, resources uh, for students to grow not just uh, into the hospitality side of the industry, but also the business and marketing and management side. Um, and uh, yes, I think uh, that's uh, about it. Uh, for uh, UNLV, I guess the one thing uh, to remember is we have really cool living, what we call a living laboratory in our backyard, the Las Vegas Strip. Um, so our students really do have access to internship and job opportunities and industry mentors um, all four years of their time here at UNLV. I guess for the SS Education Group, um, we offer a really immersive international experience that prepares students um, for a career in the hospitality or culinary industries or beyond. And from UAA, I think I would really I always love stressing the affordability of UAA, especially with that Rui tuition um, and the way that you are still, you know, while you are remaining in the US, we do have those opportunities for study abroad through many of our programs that still take you kind of to those international locations too. Well, there are certainly a ton of opportunities out there, um, especially in, in hospitality and culinary arts, the trades, um, things like that. So what advice would you give to students who are currently going through the search process and sort of figuring out, you know, where they, where they belong, where they want to apply? What advice could you share? All right. So my, my biggest advice is uh, make sure you get off your comfort zone. Uh, researching universities internationally is a matter of uh, being uh, self-aware and, and also uh, basically just getting out of that zone where you feel more comfortable with getting to know people from other countries, getting to know other cultures. Uh, you know, that's something that all of our universities, I think I can speak for all of us, uh, that's something that hospitality is going to teach you that soft skills, uh, those soft skills that you need in order for you to, to prosper in your career, either is in hotels or in any other industry that relates to hospitality. Uh, this is something employers in the future are looking for. So basically, it's not just the basic hard skills of typing the numbers in the computer, but also the soft skills of uh, dealing with clients, partners, and uh, also superiors and uh, colleagues in your work. I guess a piece of advice for kind of the admissions process and as you're exploring, um, don't wait, apply early. Um, schools like ours, uh, the earlier you apply, the more likely you are to be considered for scholarships. Um, and, and there are a lot of scholarships also available outside of the university um, for hospitality. Uh, there's a lot of organizations out there that really are trying to support the next generation of hospitality leaders. Um, so just apply to all of those scholarships and, you know, your, um, whatever program you're most interested in, all of a sudden could be much more affordable. 
Um, I mean, for me, I guess on a more personal level, I always recommend to students, I know this can be a really overwhelming process. Um, people are kind of asking you to decide what to do with the rest of your life. And you're going, I'm 17, I'm 16, how, how will I know? Um, I always encourage students not to think about what you're going to do, be doing forever, but just think about how you can see the next three, four, five years. Do you want to be in a city? Do you want to be in a town? Um, do you want to travel? What kind of experience do you want your college, you know, your college life to be like? Um, so it, it can be a little overwhelming to think about what it, life is going to be like when you're 50, but just think about what you might be interested in in two years or in a year. Yeah, and then certainly I would just say my advice would be just, yeah, again, but kind of broaden your horizons a little bit more beyond, you know, just whether it being, um, you know, programs close to home, all, all of us are pretty far away from y'all. Um, so uh, certainly kind of look at all of our really great programs, research a little bit more, and you're doing the, you know, fantastic thing by attending things like this, where you learn more about them. Um, so maybe attending more of these kinds of info sessions or doing your independent research would be super helpful for your long term. On mute. <laughs> Great. Thank you to all of our fabulous, um, our fabulous reps here today who shared some great information. I hope you all got a lot out of this session. Um, as you, as we end the session, there's gonna be a quick survey that we'd like you to take. It's just five questions. We'd love everyone to complete that. Be sure to sign up for more sessions. And again, the recording will be available at college to career.org. Thank you all for attending. And I hope you all have a really nice evening, a really nice upcoming weekend. We did it, we got through another week. Have have a great one, everyone. Bye.